Show, Watson and Watson. I'm here with Philip Barwick who's uh, directing here for Redkin. Hi Philip, how are you? Hey Jenny, really, really good. Thank That's you. Yeah. Good. That was a great show, sort of feminine, but a bit of um, utility, a bit of sportswear in it. It was really cool. It's Look, I love it. I yeah. think it's absolutely beautiful the way that the and I, I definitely think that the, the, the hair and clothing, it's got that um, there's a real nouveau fashion sort of yeah. feel to it, which yeah. was awesome. Uh, and the casualness of the hair sort of yeah. combined with that. Yeah. Loved it. Absolutely yeah, loved it. Good. So we've got a bit of a contrast of textures here, haven't we? Sort of uh, close to the head, but then we've got some sort of textured waves. Yeah, you bet. So what we tried to do, the inspiration for this was so we had sort of post-party hair. So Kayla's been out sort of in the, in the uh, at a, a bush rave, basically, okay. and she's sort of danced in her hair. <laughs> it's, it's, it's to reflect the casualness of tucking hair. The ears were a really big feature on this one, too, okay. so we could actually see visible the ears on both sides. But also, to the idea that they've been dancing all night, and now the morning mist is settling on them. So it's made them more dewy and sort of damp to look at. So okay. I, I think it's so fresh and lovely. Fantastic. So she's been at Glastonbury all night, She's, she's been at Gladstone <laughs> Have you had a good time? Yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? Really good, thank you. Now you've got a really long relationship with your good friend Aurelio and it was a stunning show. Tell us a little bit about the hair. Well, what we wanted to do this year with the hair, particularly with the collection, was to move away from what we've done in the past where we've worked with a lot of texture and really soft, beautiful, fluffy hair. Because the clothes this year in this collection so much so much detail in them there was a botanical and an equestrian feel that was the inspiration that came from Aurelio so I kind of then went with that idea the equestrian and thought about doing you know like car horses towel and that's where we've got the idea of the ponytail it being like a new direction and it being very directional that we wanted to do the pony but just to update it so what we've done is we've used We've just worked the hot form by Goldwell because it's a really light product to use in the hair. Blow dried the hair, put it into two ponytails at the back. Just when we fastened it with the elastic here, we've just um, covered that with a piece of the hair. And then what we've got done through the back here is with the two ponytails that have left, we've then just knotted that around and then just secured that round with the, the, the natural hair so everything looks like it's really soft so that's kind of like the idea of the horse's towel It's been busy. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. So we've got a bit of simple, a bit of tossle, you know, a bit of uh, flyaways. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're here to sell clothes, you know. We're an accessory to, to what goes on that runway. So it's not a hair competition, but, you know, what we wanted was just something that's just going to, you know, make the girls look beautiful and, and just really simple. So what we've got is a nice fluffy texture on the top, sure. use a makeover spray, and in the back we just made a really tight bun and just... Um, covered it with the dry touch up which gives it a more of a wet look oh, so it's like good, the juxtaposition yeah. of textures sure. and then um, yeah I mean it's just really simple you know yeah. it just looks nice on the, on the runway. Yeah. 